I mean, Betty and I are catching some, some hits here. Look what I got. Oh my goodness, a nice big rock bass. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah, that's a rock bass there. So, out here at uh, Sayer Dam again, and we caught a mess of fish. I headed out on the lake, forgot the GoPro. And forgot some hooks, or rather Tracy did. And now we are not able to find locate said hooks. There they are. See, they slip behind the console. Tiny hooks. We like tiny hooks. Itsy bitsy tiny hooks. So I caught 23 fish and Tracy caught 20 and Betty caught another 12 or something. And I caught a very nice bass, smallmouth bass. A little bit after that, I caught a big fish and it was a bass, but I couldn't get it in the boat. And I fought with it and I fought with it and had the net ready because I wasn't going to try and get them in the boat. I was using four pound test and maybe a number eight or ten hook. And wouldn't you know it, he actually broke the line and where he broke the line was this strong part. The snelling on a hook is usually a heavier line and uh, he just he just broke it, snapped it. So I was a little dis disappointed, but I'm more disappointed even though I didn't catch a fish, just disappointed that I didn't get it on film. So it's going on six o'clock, which is the perfect time for the fish to go absolutely bonkers. So let's see what happens. So I just paid a visit to the park office, talked to the ranger in there, asked him how big the fish getting here. This started out not such a great day. It was cloudy and a little threatening and it was windy and where we thought we were going to get a sunburn around four o'clock it was cold instead so the weather wasn't what they had predicted. We went ahead and uh, caught a mess of fish anyhow including a nice bass. I'll put, put a picture of that bass up. Got the one in the boat. The other one just there was no chance no chance of getting them in the boat this is such a beautiful place this really truly is there's people fishing on the banks there's kayakers there's sail sail uh sailboats out there some speed boats pontoon boats full of party animals having a good old time children screaming there's a boat coming out and a boat going in and it is not crowded, not at all. Look at the beautiful sunshine. Yeah, that, that turned out pretty good after all. Now that the weather's getting real pretty, is also the absolute primo time for fishing here. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna kill a bunch of panfish. There's all these people having a good time. That's a nice boat. And there's my boat, and there's the monkeys. Off we go. It's still windy, still windy, but it's so much nicer than it was. We had, we had great big waves over to the far end of the lake because on a windy day, the far end of the lake the water has a lot more time for those waves to grow. We're gonna stay a little bit closer this time. Okay, guys. This is 
is a no wake zone right here close to the boat. We're just going to go a short distance along this bank over here to the right. Who's on further down three quarters or more of the way to the uh, to the dam down there that we caught all the fish today. That's we're biting nice. Choppy water. Okay, we'll see when we get there. Well, Tracy and I are getting some, I mean, Betty and I are catching some, some hits here. Look what I got. Oh my goodness, a nice big rock bass. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah, that's a rock bass there. This is the only one I caught today. Only rock bass. I love those fish. 30? What, where am I at, Betty? 30. 30. That's pretty good. Well, we start to move and I catch a fish. So we're going to keep moving, just slowly. It's a little fishy. The hook out of them though. They swallow that worm good. I'm gonna keep us moving, ladies. Let me know when you want to stop. We want to stop. Well, uh, okay. Well, that happens too. You get stuck. What are you gonna do?